welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costin. And I'm Joanne Laflamme. So Joanne, what do you think we should cover tonight? Well, I thought maybe we could talk about that new feature in job costing where now you can look at information either by employee or by job number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Um, we can start over here, we'll take you into job costing, and just do a brief explanation first. So the new change you're referring to is actually right at the top here. Um, you'll notice if, if you keep the view on employee, Job costing, the main screen looks exactly the way it used to, mm -hmm. okay? But what, what's been added is you can toggle down now and choose a job number view, and that changes the view from looking at a list of employees to looking at a list of job numbers. So now I can search for a job number, um, and you'll see all the, you know, you'd see specific records for that job in the okay. transaction list. Sounds good. Well, okay. uh, what if I wanted to add an entry? Mm -hmm. Um, like you can in the employee view, right. can I add an entry in the job view? Absolutely. Okay. So notice now that I'm viewing by job number. <clears throat> so like I said, you no longer see a list of employees here. You see a list of jobs numbers here. So if I wanted to add an entry for this particular highlighted entry, uh, and the same thing applies here with the transaction type. You still have a way here to, to toggle between labor and material. So with that set on labor, if I add down at the bottom, I'm going to add a, a transaction entry uh, that's a production entry. Okay. Um, now the difference here is it pre-fills in the job number mm -hmm. because you've, you've highlighted a specific job number. So now it's asking to fill in the employee code. So I hit the employee code. I can make a selection there. And then everything from that point down is mm -hmm. exactly the same okay. as it was before. So I can you know, choose a department process and all that. Um, you know, all that other fields is the exact same. So the only thing that toggles is it, it's bringing in the job number and the job information based on the highlighted job from the previous screen. Okay. And I suppose I can edit entries like I could in employee as well. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Same idea there. Yep. So I, and I had a few already saved. So same idea. If I'm highlighted on any one of these, I can click edit and it brings up that time card entry. Again, the only thing that that's going to look a little different from before is before the employee code was was the uh, selection up at the top, uh, and you know you had to select the job, or I should say you had to select the job number before. Now it's bringing it automatically, and you have to choose the employee. That's really the only difference. Okay. Uh, now I noticed there was this filter button on the main screen. Mm -hmm. Can you explain how that works? Sure. So the other part of this, with you know from the, and it's only going to be from the job view, is you have these additional fields here. So, you know, let's say you, you've got, a, you know, 50 records for one particular job, and you don't want to see them all. You want a quick way to, to maybe be able to get to what you're looking for okay. based on either a date range or the type of job it is. So you could put in, say, the status. I want to key on just orders that are, or just records for jobs that are in process. Or, you know, I can put in a date range. Or, you know, I can choose between labor material. Um, cost center type if I only want to see things in pre-press or mm -hmm. just in the press. Okay. So, or, or specific employee. Maybe I only want to see records from myself or from, from yourself, right? So I can put a filter in there. Notice there's three records here, but if I hit filter now, it's going to update the list. Based on that criteria. Based on what's, it, but based on the criteria. Okay, great. Exactly. Uh, I think what it's doing is just not auto refreshing. It's letting you make the selection up top mm -hmm. that you want. And once you've got the parameters, then hit filter and it'll filter the records. Okay, great. Okay. Anything else? No, that was great. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, thank you. Well, this was another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne LaFlamme. Please look forward for more to come.